Okay, so guys, welcome back to Lex Media, your number one YouTube channel for Ninja Gs and entertainment. And when I mean Ninja Gs, I mean strictly Nigerian Gist. So guys, how you doing? How's the day going? How you coping with the Corona virus spread? Guys, like they say, do not panic. I repeat. Do not panic. Everything is under control. So far, you stay safe and you also take the necessary safety measures. When you do that, believe me, guys, you won't say, Corona will be stressing me like the way it's stressing me. Okay. So, I'm, I'm just kidding. So, guys, still on the ultimate love. Huh. The show is getting more hotter every day when brothers go to war and when i mean brothers i mean jay and guess who jay and arnold <laughs> jay is frustrated with what he feels and malicious remarks from arnold and he needed it addressed we all remember the moment jay reached out to shake arnold's hand and the latter laughed and said he should rather kiss him because he was a Judas. Sharp words for G after he and Inkechi nominated Bola two weeks ago. G laughed out loud and walked away. But as we soon discover, that laughter was merely masking outrage. Yesterday, he pinned a letter to Auntie complaining about Arnold saying things that make him seem like a wicked and deceitful person to the public, but pretending to be saying them as a joke. At least, this is how Jay perceives it and perception is everything. Jay signed the letter off, saying he wasn't going to be responsible for his actions if it came down to a confrontation something that prompted auntie to get everything out in the open after jay got the floor and opened up about his frustrations arnold was confused and upset as he would later tell bolanle he meant everything he said as a joke and stressed that he never called jay evil hmm, that's one two he also felt Jay blowing things out of proportion was an attempt to get him into trouble. Bonale showered him with kisses and tried to console him before going to confront Jay, which only seemed to make him even more upset, especially after she accused him of putting up his friend Louis twice. In Kechi's attempt to talk one on one with her man went nearly as successful. He shut the conversation down immediately. Inkechi then retorted, So, you will talk to Bonali for 30 minutes, but you won't talk to me. Which must have stung coming from his partner. They then silently walk away from each other, one the other hand. We feel Inkechi's pain because she got pushed away when she was trying to be supportive and vulnerable, but Jay was also worn down because everyone was trying to give their two cents and mediate the conflict between him and Arnold. So guys, what do you think? Is this just nomination pressure bubbling over? Or is Jay well within his rights to be upset by his friend's action? Sound off on any of our social media platform below. And also follow my YouTube channel, Lex Media, for more gist and entertainment. Also, hit on the bell icon beside it to get new notifications on when a new story drops. So, guys, tune in daily and play a part in shaping Nigeria's most epic love story yet. I leave it here for now, guys. Thank you.